Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Hollier411 coming at you with a weekend love reading. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the energies um, for the weekend, okay? If you have a significant other, please keep that person in mind as I shuffle the cards. We're going to be asking the tarot or the tarot what is in store for you this weekend, okay? This is a timeless reading, however... If it doesn't resonate with you, you might want to check um, the zodiac sign. Or you can just let it go, you know. Don't make something fit if it doesn't. We'll pull some uh, past, present, and future just to see what's going on here. Spirit guides, guardian angels. And that way you can decipher if this is your reading or not. What is the message coming through? I have air signs strong coming through is what I see. For the weekend love reading. Okay. Let me just... guides guardian angels i step out of my energy and into the collective's energy for the weekend love reading okay <clears throat> let's see the energies we want to see past present and future for the group that i'm working with here spirit guides guardian angels you could be dealing with a gemini or you could be a gemini we have cardinal sign here Cardinal signs or Aries. Let me see. I hope you guys are doing great this morning. So we have the cardinal signs as um, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries. This is for the weekend, too. This is for the eclipse. Um, the eclipse is going to be on June 5th um, in Sagittarius. So let's see what's happening. And it is June 5th as well, okay? So let's see. Um, Gemini call to action. Stop overthinking the situation and set your plans in motion. Yeah, stop taking action. So in the past, it was like um, you were just, you know, thinking about a situation. You weren't moving forward. However, um, let's see. Let's get more of a meaning to it. So it's like it's meeting of the minds for Gemini here um, for in the past situation. So this could be like you guys are somewhat out of balance here, okay? Um, you could get lost in your own thoughts. Um, are you and this person, um, you're a master of not approaching the situation. There was, there was, um, it's like a stalemate energy here. Uh, maybe, you know, um, this was a lot of dwelling on a situation, but not yet trying to find a solution to fix it, okay? So, let's see. And then we have the cardinal sign here, which is the present. And that's in the reverse. Enjoy the collaboration. In order to succeed in this situation, teamwork is required. I do feel like this is a twin flame connection. Um, just because there is teamwork that needs to take place. It takes two to make a relationship grow. Okay? So, with it... Um,
So you could be with a cardinal sign or you could resonate strongly with a cardinal sign. And the cardinal signs here are, um, are Aries, Libra, Libra, okay? We have Capricorn and Cancer. It's striving to find a middle ground. It's meeting in the middle, okay? So you guys could be uh, trying to work things out, trying to meet somewhere in the middle um, within, a, within the relationship, okay? Spirit guides, guardian angels. What is the future, the possible outcome? Spirit guides, guardian angels, if things keep on as they are. So we have Descendant, we have Lovebirds. On the bottom we have Virgo. Honor your deep desires to, to, to be of service to humanity. It's time to leave your mark, okay? And then we have the Descendants, the Lovebirds. It says whether you deepen your current relationship or start a new one, commitment is in the offering. So this is like, you guys are definitely showing um, you know, in the future outcome position that you guys are going to make something happen here, okay? Um, so this could be um, even at work, um, even with your partnerships at work. You know, this is anyone who you consult, okay? You're trying to find a middle ground, but this, we're talking about love here. So you guys are definitely ascending, okay, um, to a higher commitment as well. Now, the descendant is an important angle when it comes to relationship. It's going to reveal the qualities that you guys share, okay? Um, and also the qualities that you seek in your partnership, your, you, what you reflect is what you get back, okay? So this is about manifesting. Are you single? Well, there's someone new going to be coming in, or this could be someone that you know already. This is someone who's very interesting, very... It's like you, you wanted to take action with this person, but you, you know... Um, it's like they, you guys both were thinking about each other or had been thinking about each other, especially in the current uh, position here and the possible future here. I feel like you guys are definitely going to come together and um, express your, your, your emotions, okay? And you're going, you guys are definitely going to look forward to this connection as one or as a partnership. So let's see what Spirit has to say. So in the past, we have Gemini. Let's get some cards for Gemini. A call to action. A need to take action. Someone was definitely overthinking the situation. Not only were they overthinking it, it's like you guys were both overthinking it. Or perhaps you were just too much in your head about what it is, how you were going to approach this person. Okay, someone is feeling left out in the cold. We have Taurus energy. We have Aqu uh, Aquarius. Um, we have Aries. We have Stagnation here, which is Cancer. Um, we have Virgo, which is the Hermit. So we have a sense of manifesting, okay? Filling these energies with the five of coins here really pushes you towards, you know, um, pushes you away from the conflict, but yet pushes you more to manifesting what you truly desire and what you truly want here, okay? And even though there was a call to action or there needed to be a call to action, this definitely gave you guys time to heal and find the equalness between the two, okay? This is Libra card showing up as well. So there was an equal opportunity here, okay? Now there is a lot of love here. Um, feeling very, there is communication on the horizon, okay? Like I said, there's communication on the horizon. You guys, um, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, this is just a romance that hasn't been started yet, okay? Or a new partnership, so to say. 
Yeah, there, um, you know, there was no action, there was no movement, okay, but now we have the Knight of Swords coming in, and, you know, this is about being very successful, being, um, being very honorable for what they do, and this is the card of Leo, we have the card of Gemini here, so uh, whether it is communicating your love and how much you feel about this person, or this person is going to communicate how they feel towards you, okay? Uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. So this person is could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. This is um, could be a masculine or a divine feminine. It's showing up as a masculine, but this masculine has the powers within the physical world. Very practical. Someone who can definitely take care of you and um, someone who makes very bold decisions. They probably have their own business or they run um, a lot of uh, financial, um, financially secure, okay, is what I'm hearing, but it's like a family, okay, so this man has a family, they could um, also have a lot of businesses or invest in a lot of, um, I'm wanting to say investing their money in, or investing their time, okay, um, this is about teamwork, wanting to work together. Like I said, you could work with them as well. There, this person, I feel like, is thinking about communicating to you. Not only are they thinking about it, it's like they know. It's like they, they've um, went through it in their head, you know, several times. They've, they've thought about what to say to you, how to approach you um, with the love that they share for you because they do have a lot of love. They're just learning to contain it, okay? They're grounding their energy and their emotions, and they're wanting to speak this to you, okay? They've already made a decision to release something from the past, okay? Whether it was, um, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so we have a couple here. Here We have um, the king and queen of coins. This is in the physical here. So they're thinking about you. They think about you so much here, especially with the Ten of Swords in reverse. They're going through some sort of healing that is definitely holding them back from moving forward. It's a big transformation, okay? But this collaboration is what it is, okay? Um, this It takes teamwork, and that's why we have the king and queen up, okay? So can you tell me about this queen here? The queen is definitely going through a lot of changes. Uh, this queen is definitely stepping into more of an intuitive. Okay, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have uh, Cancer showing in Pisces here. We also have um, we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus here, um, which is a fixed signs. But this is definitely about, you know, um, getting more in tuned with your intuition and what you want with your emotions. This is about healing. This is uh, a time of rebirth and regeneration, okay? Um, not only about that, it's like someone is definitely holding back here. Why are they holding back? Okay, so the Nine of Coins. It's like they don't want to lose their, um, this person doesn't want to lose their independence, okay, within the relationship. Yeah, but they do definitely want to move forward, okay, and be on the same page. And also there is the uh, Knight of Coins here, which indicates a slow movement, but definitely very loyal. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy, very grounded. As you can see, this person's been through battles, and they've been through so much. They're just taking their time. They don't want to rush, okay? There's no rush here. Then we have descendants. So we have a hard aspect here of um, two people coming together, okay? So we have the two of swords, a head over heart decision, okay? So someone is going, and it's like staying out of your head. Stay out of your head, okay? It's telling you to follow your heart. Um, it could be dealing with the Libra. Libra is showing very strongly here. Or is there a sign in your Libra um, house, um, in your natal chart, your birth chart? We also have Virgo. We have Sagittarius. Okay, so here we have holding on very strongly. You've been hurt. 
Um, there is steps forward here. There's movement. We have two, three, two, and nine to, to almost a completion here. We also have someone has blocked you or, or this could be a, um, a situation where, you know, you're trying to work past, uh, you're trying to communicate here a situation with somebody, um, with your lover yeah this is soulmate energy you're thinking about this person or this person is totally thinking about you we have the king of wands which is someone who will take action but we have really frustrating energy there could be other people involved here that it could be you know holding this person back as well i wanted to get some clarifiers here for the um Let's get these here. I wanted to get some clarifiers for this Queen of Swords here. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. The Empress showed up. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What is this Queen of Swords here? I feel like you have blocked them. Yeah, it's like now you're wanting to take me. Something didn't work out in the past. Okay. Um... Or perhaps this is a situation that involved, you know, needing to to give give more action, to more movement, more action, um, and a fresh start is needed here so that this can succeed. Who's this King of Wands? Okay, this is someone that you have manifested, or this is someone that has um, been in the picture that you know um, with. Someone who's been very ruly, someone who has been very manipulative, I want to say, um, overindulging. Um, only once, it's like this person is one sided, okay? Yeah, it's like um, they like to be chased, they like the runner chaser. Um, I feel like this is a completion with this person, and this is a realization of that as well, okay? Um, because you weren't successful with this person, okay? But like I said, there's someone new coming in here. This king and queen of coins. Yeah, this is the moon energy. Um, romantic energy. Not only is it romantic, but it's definitely working forward. This person is collaborating with you. This person is, it takes teamwork, putting in effort. Okay, we have the five of wands, which is, yes, there is competition, but this person is definitely going to step his game up to really, you know, um, show you what they have. But not only that, but it's like there is a sense of this person has held some things back in the past. Um, they could be holding on to you or holding on to this situation without you even knowing okay i do feel like they had definitely missed you what is this ace of cups and reverse spirit guides okay so we have healing with the king of cups here the king of cups is definitely um someone who's made a decision with you but not only have they made a decision they definitely see you as the queen of coins okay and you see them as no communication and you know uh, not investing their time and money into the right areas and wanting justice you want justice with this person as well okay so wow so these cards came out here very cool okay so i hope you got that message for some of you like I said, it may not resonate with all, and that's okay. Don't make it. Okay, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards just to see the vibe here. Um, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, what is the message coming through for the weekend love reading? June 5th through the... What, we'll do June through all the way till the 11th okay this is for the weekend love reading what are the energy spirit guides guardian angels can we get three for the highest good for the viewers this one so we have true love 
we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking okay stay out of your mind even you know um, staying out of your mind positive thinking affirmations bring you closer to love as well and it's safe for you to love it's safe for you to open your heart up and to give love um, and receive love and to receive the highest energy of all you know this is about you know being positive because again it says you deserve love it is safe for you to love you deserve love you could be with the Sagittarius here I'm also sensing um, on the bottom of the deck we have children okay so you guys could have children together or uh, wow okay so we have engagement so there could be children coming aboard or on the way however this is being um, you know keeping an open mind not staying in the box you know um, stepping outside the box and I actually taking action you know because someone definitely wants to communicate here so and I feel like there is action uh, will be taken I do feel like positive thinking helps you move forward within your connections and relationships period okay um, you know being negative is not going to get anyone um, at that with that being said uh, it's not going to get, they're not going to get four with negative thinking at all, okay? So, with this week in love reading, we can definitely say that um, in the past, you know, there was a call to action, a need to get out of one's head and to really collaborate. And I feel like these two were definitely staying optimistic about their love life and knowing that it's safe to open up. And not only is it safe to open up, but to work together and build something on a strong foundation. And then we also have um, deepening your love and knowing that you are lovable, okay? So know that you are of good and great value and that you are being divinely guided and communication is on the horizon. Even though your emotions are kind of, you know, like this river flowing right here, there it's flowing fast, you know, you have this... You feel these energies coming on strongly. Let's see. Okay. This card popped out. This says subconscious mind recondition your subconscious mind to change your life. Subliminals rewrite belief system. So this is about rewriting your belief system, reconditioning your subconscious, um, you know, this is a new chapter, leaving the past behind. Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is the weekend love for my viewers? Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is their desires, their fears, and their actions towards the viewer? So we have desires, the four of wands. This could be a twin friend connection again. Like I said, fiery energy. This is someone who wants to be of playfulness, someone who wants to bring back that um, that playful energy. You know, we have you swinging in a swing for some of you. Um, wow, I'm seeing like a very playful energy or like this could be like a, even a sex swing for some, okay? Um, Let's see, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. We have the Queen of Chalice, okay? This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the Queen of Cups. So it's like they fear you. They fear to come close to you because of this connection. Because this, they make you feel like at home, but not only at home. Um, it's like a feeling of reuniting, okay? So... They desire what they desire, their fears, and their actions. Their actions is going to be set in motion here. With um, this is the magic of you know um, speaking your truth. Of um, you know, this is about bondage as well, but this is also um, a, a prick in the heart. The truth sometimes hurt, but and not only that, it's about. You know, speaking your truth, getting your word across, um, stating how you feel. This person is going to take action with you. And let's see yours, okay, the viewers, how you reflect to this person. 
so we'll do desires here so it's like you're ready to start something it's like you know you're sitting here and want you're both facing the outside you know you're not looking at each other there's a lot of loneliness here um this person has let their guard down but it's like you're thinking about leaving or you're thinking about, you know, something else besides the connection, okay? Um, it's like you don't want this person or you just don't want to be tied down just to one person or perhaps this pers the person that you're thinking about um, feels that you don't give them enough communication here. Your fears is, okay, the devil. So the devil could be either Capricorn um, no love. Okay, so you feel like with the King of Cups in reverse. So you feel like this person is just all, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to leave. That's what that's what your fear is. You fear that this person is going to come in, get what they want, and leave. Okay, but it's like you're not going to have that. Okay, so let's see your actions here. We have the Seven of Wands. Bridges have been burned. Okay, um, I'm seeing bridges burned over here. Um, but there is a fiery energy here with the seven of wands fighting for what you believe in fighting for you know your love um, It's like you want to bring this passion together But I do feel like bridges have to be burned before you know you can Come back together supposedly. Okay, so on the bottom Wow, we have the soulmate card. We have justice and we have the um the high priestess with the eight of swords yeah being stuck in a karmic relationship thinking about the past secretively wanting to um you know move forward with <clears throat> with you okay but not only that there is judgment here so this is a new start and a new beginning um we also have this card here which is completion feeling completed not only is it feeling completed, but it is a new fresh start, okay? We have Leo energy um, here. We have Aries. We have Scorpio. And um, Aquarius. They want to... It's like they want to bring this motion back, but you're like this motion they want to bring this love back but for some reason this is about balancing things out this is about it's like they can't resist you here okay um spirit guides guardian angels can you tell me more let's get the raw energy okay it's like are you going to make a decision or not you know it's like he's He's, Divine Masculine is wanting you to make a decision. I feel like he's coming. He's coming. He's riding in on his horse. He's going to express how he feels. You guys are going to definitely harmonize together. But not only that, again, there's a second chance for you guys coming back together. The Emperor is here as well. So someone will be hurt. Someone will get hurt. Um, there is someone being let go of. Someone is cutting ties with someone like I said, there's bridges that will be burned or perhaps this is a romance that will come back around again Okay, I'm um, with the three of pentacles here. Who is this ten of swords? Ten of swords energy, so we have the high priestess um, we have the four of pentacles this is observing you from a from a um, a perspective uh, but feeling stuck and not even it's like they're not telling you how they feel they set boundaries around this love I don't know why you know it's like why did this person set boundaries around this love huh. okay this person but I do feel like there's some sort of communication coming in but I do feel like the viewer you're not going to be having that okay because you know it's like you're not going to go through this cycle again you're you're going to be you know rewriting the situation it's like has to stop okay because the high priestess here is all about secrets and we have the devil in the background and the devil is signifying a karmic partner you know there's something going on spirit guides guardian angels let's get some cards for the weekend love for my viewers what is the message coming through okay we have these 
Okay, so we have lovers. We have a mature divine masculine here. Can you tell us more about this situation? Okay, we have people talking, or this could be you and your lover talking on a romantic point of view, okay? I feel like this person is going to come in, or you will come in, and definitely this is a situation that talks about, you know, gambling, um, but not only that, it's like you're gambling. Is this going to work or it's not? It's, it's either going to work or it won't work, okay? I do feel like um, spirit guides, guardian angels, can you tell me more about I do feel like for some of you, this is someone else, you know, um, if you're a divine feminine watching this, this could be, you're dealing with two divine masculines here, and there's a word getting around that, you know, yeah, there's a word getting around, or you could be speaking to this person off the internet, um, you know, talking back and forth. Um, you guys definitely know each other from the community. Maybe you were raised up in the same area. Um, yeah, you were raised up in the same area. Um, and perhaps, you know, uh, you own a store or they own a store or there is some kind of business where, you know, you really give to your community, okay? Um, it's like I said, you guys are twin flames. You know, you give to the community. Um, your high vibrational energies. These cards are just wanting to pop out. And um, for the Divine Masculine here, the Divine Masculine knows where he wants to go. Um, he feels like he's being pulled in several different directions here. Um, we have bad health and um, adjudication. So with the bad health, and then we have the Divine Masculine again. Bad health and adjudication. So, yeah, looking closely at... Um, what there's a child here okay looking closely someone could be sick okay and they're taking after a child or they're looking after a child or um their relationship could have went sour as well okay um and you could have a, a child with this person and you're going through a divorce but you're definitely moving towards um, the man of honor, you're, okay, this person could be a man of honor, you respect this man, the community respects this person, this person has been, you know, gifting to the community for his services as well, but this is a connection, this is what is going to connect you two together, okay, we also have, uh, this person could be younger than you, or this person could have children, but not only that, this is a new beginning, okay, this is inspiration, a new beginning, a new path, okay, a new a new way to look at life as well. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you later.